Hey, what's the guy doing so well in the last couple of games? Uh, he's definitely playing hard. Uh, all the teammates. He's definitely our motor. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I think we go as he goes. Uh, he sets the pace every time. And I think he's getting back uh, to feeling good. Uh, he's playing, distributing, uh, making others play even better. And he's scoring, passing the ball, guarding. Uh, he's doing a little bit of everything. So we need him every night like we need every other guy. But I think that guy's been doing a great job. Santi, Rick talked about these type of games and, and the way these teams defend you all, how that can translate to SEC play and, and help you all down the road. Just how much have you seen that over the course of your career, the, the teams that you all play in the non-conference and their style helping you all once you all get into SEC play? I think it definitely helps. Uh, playing teams like tonight uh, where I wouldn't say they get wild, but it's kind of a place where they just like run a lot on defense. Uh, it's like being organized while being unorganized. And if I remember right, we lost to LSU a couple of years ago. Uh, they had that same style of play uh, where they was uh, running all over the place. Uh, they had a little more length on the team. Uh, but I think that uh, these kinds uh, of games kind of help you to prepare for those uh, games where they're different. Um, and yeah, it helps you to prepare for what's coming, get everybody on the same page, know what we got to get better at, just once we start as a seat play. Uh, we know it's on, and yeah, I think that's how they help me. Grant, Rob, Mike. So as Rick was talking about some of the adjustments that Dalton has to make. How hard is it to make adjustments on the fly at this level, kind of when you're still getting used to this level, I guess? First of all, I love your necklace. Um, oh, I like to look. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely hard. Uh, I think that's where we got to help him a little more too. Uh, he's coming from a league that uh, definitely doesn't play the same way we play here. Uh, it's just a different type of basketball. I wouldn't say better or worse. It's just different. And especially we told him uh, once he gets to see play, uh, it gets a lot more physical. It gets a lot more athletic. Uh, we know how the SEC is. A lot of guys are athletic, are really strong. So. Uh, we count on him uh, every single night, and we know he's trying, so we just got to have his back, uh, and he's good. Uh, he just got to figure a couple stuff out on the court uh, in terms of that physicality, uh, but we know he'll do it, and we'll help him with it. Hey, Jordan, you're almost through the non-conference now, so you've got you know, a baseline. What's been the biggest adjustment now that you're you know, kind of at, at almost the halfway point for you? I really just say just being able to use the offense more to my uh, advantage, and then just being able to defend at a high level, being able to do that consistently every night, because I know guys are gonna come after whoever, guys are gonna come after me, and just be able to be ready, be ready and be be confident that I know I'm gonna get a stop them and do what we do. For both of you guys, how, how important is getting a you know, five day break, 11 day gap between games, and what's the balance in that of resting but also trying to stay kind of fresh and on top of things? I'd say it's, it's really nice because you get to also just sit back, relax, you get to be off your legs and it's also just a, a mental break from everything and just being able to have a great setback from that is just a great reset to come back and continue what we are doing now. John, yeah. Ryan, Ben, sorry. I'll have the one answer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I think that uh, the main part is uh, the mental uh, break. Uh, that's going to be the best thing. Uh, have a couple of days to enjoy families, uh, be around uh, the ones we love. And yeah, just focus on, Coach said one of the main things, he said just don't get hurt. Uh, I think uh, that's one of the biggest things. Uh, come back, lock it in. Enjoy as much as you can the break. Uh, just take your mind off everything. Uh, enjoy it, enjoy uh, the time. But then once we get back, we definitely got to be locked in, uh, knowing what's uh, to come for us. And we know we need everybody for SEC play once we start. Santi in the back here. Just what did you learn about this team defensively tonight? Just because the, mo the majority of the second half, you, you didn't shoot the ball well, but you were able to, to maintain the lead despite it. Do you feel like this team took a step defensively in that second half? Um, I'd say we definitely are getting back to where we wanted it to be on the first place. Uh, I know Tennessee's been known the past years for being an elite uh, defensive team. We've been ranked number one on the defensive defensive side of the ball uh, for a long time, and we know that's what we do. That's what we hang our heads on. Uh, we know that defense is the main thing that travels. Uh, 
shots might fall, might not, but defense got to be there. It's just pretty much a matter of effort and being smart. So uh, I think we're getting back to where we want to be, and we need everybody on that, and we're getting it. Santi, 12 games in the season. What do you what have you learned about this team that maybe you didn't know at the start of the year? That's a good question. Uh, what have I learned? That's a good title. I knew that from the beginning. I mean, I don't think I've learned anything. Well, I have learned a lot of things, but uh, no, I mean, we spent so much time together, uh, even before the season started, uh, spent a lot of hours together. We had the trip to Italy. Uh, I think the team, like Tennessee in general, uh, from MC, the ops person, to uh, the coaching staff, to everybody, I think they did a great job uh, preparing us, uh, putting us in the best position to get to know each other a lot more, uh, even before the season started. So I think that's one of our main advantages. Like everybody knows each other's games by now. Um, and we just, like I said, we spent so much time together before the season started that uh, we're at a point that we just know each other well. Santi Ricks talked about this being a difficult <coughs> semester for you personally. Just how difficult has the last couple of months been for you? And you feel like you're finding your footing as you get into this break? And how excited are you for this break and come back and to get into SEC play? It's definitely been. Um, a lot of stuff going on uh, from an academic perspective, uh, just trying to get through, uh, just graduated, so finally got done with that. Uh, but between that, uh, as y'all know, my grandmother passed and had to go back home. Uh, and as much as I wanted to say that I was good and I was past it, uh, I still know, like in the back of my mind, it's taxing and just trying to be there for my family and everything. I think it's one of the main things. Uh, but now it's kind of getting everything good, uh, getting back to it, getting my rhythm. And yeah, I think we're going to be good from now on. Anything else? All right, thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.